everybody welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV so recently I did a poll um, on the channel under the community tab and what I wanted to do was gauge interest in posting entry-level web development and tech roles um, just because I do get a lot of questions about it so I thought it would be cool to kind of implement that as part of Jashelle Tech TV. So the question was, would you be interested in postings about entry-level web development tech related roles that could help you get a foot in the door? I run across positions like this from time to time. And since I get the question quite a bit in the comments, I like to be able to help as much as I can. So the results were, I got 49 votes on this and 98% of people said yes. So that's a good sign. It's, that's a pretty, that's, that lets me know that people are interested in that, so um, I decided to move forward with it. I did start pretty much right after that posting uh, jobs via the community tab on my YouTube channel. So as you can see, pretty much it was pretty basic, just a screenshot and a little bit about the role, like the company name and the role, and then a link to that um, role. So I did it for about a week just to see, you know, how it would go i got some pretty good feedback on it the only thing about it though is with the community tab on my youtube channel it can limit um the amount of people that has access to the postings because even even though it's something i'm doing for Jashelle tech tv i do want it to be something for the tech community in general so i decided to pretty much move away from this i've developed a different solution actually i had like several ideas for this of how I wanted to move forward, moving it away from YouTube. So what I've done is I started with something pretty simple. So this is the spreadsheet that I've started for the entry level jobs. So my goal here is to keep it to roles that are super, super beginner friendly. And at least 98% of these roles have some kind of coding involved or at least needing to have some kind of knowledge of coding. And even if they don't, a lot of these are a really good start to get a foot in the door to working in tech and starting your career. So how I've described this spreadsheet is roles that are no experience and or CS degree friendly and can help get a foot in the door for those looking. And I have some notes here, just how to submit feedback or if you wanna submit a post, you can. If you think a post should be here, you can reach out to me on Twitter, LinkedIn, or uh, Instagram if you if you follow me on Instagram and you'll notice that most of these are remote positions it's just easier for me to manage this project posting mainly remote positions because it would be way more work to try to look for jobs in individual cities one suggestion that I have is that you could take a position or the name of a role and copy it and paste it into a job board or Google and find jobs in your city or wherever you live. So that's one thing you could do if it's a role that if you are not a person that wants to work remote or you'd rather find something locally, um, that's one tip that I have. But since I'm not running an entire like recruiting agency or <laughs> agency, job agency, then this is pretty much I'm only, <laughs> the best I can do is remote jobs for now. So take the title and then search by your own location and you should find something or either something similar to it. I'm just gonna look at a couple of these or a few of these just to show you how beginner friendly most of these are. So a company called Penguins and Pineapples is <laughs> looking for a website designer. So going over here, and by the way, um, the reason why you see link, 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 link is because these links are very, very long and it makes the spreadsheet kind of harder to read so if it's a very long url and you see link that's because i've customized the text to say that because it's just easier to read so if i go to this link um and the website designer position so what they're looking for is basically um a relevant diploma in a related field proficiency in graphic design software like photoshop illustrator or other design tools proficiency in um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, things like that. Um, understanding with content management systems, understanding of search engine optimization, basically SEO. 
um, proficient in cross-browser compatibility, visual design skills, things like that. So when a company says things like good understanding or proficiency, usually that means if you have a good understanding, they can work with that. They're not saying you need 30 years of experience and a PhD to work with HTML. They're just saying, hey, do you have a good understanding? And that's pretty much what you wanna look for when you're looking for beginner jobs, entry-level jobs. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to another position. There is, let's see, there's a web content email creator. And so for this job, they're looking for familiarity with Colorado, knowledge of HTML table structure, ability to edit photos in Photoshop, excellent organizational and time management skills, communication skills. You can work independently, you can work under a schedule and deadlines, SEO skills are a plus and being familiar with Google Ad Manager is a plus. And this is a part-time, 20 to 30 an hour. And one thing I like to do too, is I'll go through a job posting and I'll highlight things that are in my skill set. So knowledge of HTML's table structure. So I'll highlight that keyword. And same thing, so Photoshop organizational and time management skills, communication skills. So anyway, the point is I'll highlight uh, using a Chrome extension highlighter, and also I'll put it in the description, the highlighter extension that I use. But I'll, I'll just go through and highlight things that I'm, you know, I'll highlight the qualifications. Once I've highlighted everything in the job description, it's like, wow, I meet a lot of these. And then if I don't, if I'm not familiar with something, I may, you know, highlight it, even though I am familiar with Google Ad Manager, but just for an example, I'll put it in a different color and it's like, okay, one thing I may not be familiar with, but I can leverage all these other skills and let them know that, hey, that's something I can learn very easily. I pick up technologies very easily. Another thing I do, just as an example, I'll go to the company uh, the actual company's website and just kind of read about them a little bit because this is it's pretty important you know you want to know what company you're applying for I don't know if this is the correct website but just for example if I don't I don't know if this is the right website but I'll go to like the about us page and I'll just read about them the company you know the history you know, what they do, the products that they have. And I'll just spend like, you know, 30 minutes just reading through it. I see the careers page here. So I'll, I'll go to that page, read about their values, read about their team, you know, what they care about. And I take all that data and I pretty much, um, I may go into like a document or something, open up a Google Doc um, or, or on, on my computer, I may do that. And I'll write down the company's name and the position and then skills that they're looking for. What do they do? Um, what are their values? Why do I want to work there? All those things, I take all, all that and I throw it in my cover letter. Not throw it physically, obviously. <laughs> I put it in my cover letter because these are things they're going to want to know in the interview anyway. So the more prepared you are, um, number one, the better you can structure your cover letter um, and the better prepared you are for an interview. So even though, you know, you're looking at this position like, yeah, um, this this is this is something I can do. Um, 80 other people may be saying the same thing. So immediately you want to go ahead and start making yourself stand out, get a good feel of the company write down your questions. My process for this is pretty much this, maybe a little bit more in depth, but this is how you can start. So my goals for the spreadsheet is I wanna keep it updated as much as possible. Things will constantly be getting added and removed. If stuff is outdated, I'll get to it as soon as I can because I, I just pretty much do this in my free time. So if there's like four or five days where it's not being updated, don't panic. This is definitely a project that I'm, I'm active on. And uh, I mean, even as we speak, there's posts I've already, not as we speak, but like a couple of hours ago, there was stuff already expired. So I had to remove them. Um, but some ideas that I have too is maybe have some collaborators on this or managers 
but I don't I don't know I'm not 100 percent sure yet because there's a really there's a there's a way that I select these roles um because sometimes stuff will say entry level but it's still like three years of experience and you know th that's what I'm trying to not do here so when I say entry level I mean entry level because I know that people have said they've had a hard time finding entry level jobs. And these companies are looking for people to fill these roles. So if I can find them and help bridge that gap, then in this spreadsheet is gonna help that. I'd love to help companies and people looking for these kind of, kind of roles. Um, they're looking to fill them. So here they are, <laughs> I've presented them to you. And you know, it could eventually turn into maybe a website or some kind of database, but um, with the limited time that I have, this is the best way I could get it out as soon as possible. And sometimes, you know, in reality, sometimes you just have to focus on starting, getting experience, get the, get your career launched. Something on your resume is better than nothing. So even if it's a part-time temporary contract, you know, that's okay because once you have experience and you've made some valuable contributions and you've taken initiative to start, you know, to start working in your field and not just anything, but there are a lot of opportunities great for just starting. I'm not saying, you know, do something, do something that's going to undervalue you or, you know, be, you know, not just not be a good, a good company at all. So um, just know that these are hand selected. I um, now I still want you to do your own research with it when it comes to the actual company itself, the salary and benefits, do your own research. So pretty much my process is once once I get a list of job postings, I'll look through them and then see which ones could fit here on the spreadsheet. And then once I find ones that are good, I just pretty much add them. And that's why adding managers or collaborators, I'm not sure about yet. Um, maybe I could possibly set up a form or something like that and do it that way. And then I'll still be the, the main one um, managing it. Or maybe I could have collaborators and different people check the form results. I don't know, <laughs> but it would be great to possibly eventually get help on this. Cause it's, even though it's not it's, it's a very simple process, but it can be a lot of work. It can take me up to a couple of hours to um, go through the job postings that come to my email and then actually look at the description. And sometimes I, and, and also I'll find the company website if at all possible. So I don't just, if I, if it's on Indeed, if I can find the company's careers page and, page and find the role that way, I'd rather it come from the source itself, but if I can't, then it's gonna be an Indeed link. So that's pretty much what I have on that, um, the entry level web coding tech role spreadsheet. Um, I think I've covered everything. If I forgot something in this video, I'll just post it in the community tab on Jashel Tech TV. If you're subscribed, you'll see my updates. They come, they'll, they'll come through your, your YouTube timeline or you can just go to the actual community tab on my page to check for any updates. Yeah, so check it out. The link is in the description. Feel free to share it with anyone you think will help. If you have any ideas for it, let me know. And I will see you in the next video.